Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. Now today's topic, we're going to talk about one of the amazing wonders of the world. One of them would be the Great Wall of China or the Great Pyramids of Egypt and one of them is the Taj Mahal in India. So, William and Kate replay Taj Mahal moment. They're making another moment from the past. So this is Prince William from Britain and this is his wife Kate. So Prince William and Duchess Catherine sat and posed on a bench at Taj Mahal which is located in Agra, India on April 16th. Princess Diana which was Prince William's father, uh, mother sat on the same bench holding a similar pose 24 years ago. So 24 years ago in the past, his mother and father, they did a very similar picture and he's making uh, another picture. He is replaying that moment. When she visited many years ago, Diana was experiencing or feeling a difficult time. Even though the temperatures reached 41 degrees Celsius that day, it was very, very hot, William and Kate enjoyed their time at the monument to everlasting love. So the reason this was built, it was a present for um, a king's wife and everlasting love means the love will go on forever and ever and ever. It also happened to be the last day of their trip to India and Bhutan. So they are traveling around Asia and this was their last day. The Taj Mahal is a white marble mausoleum. Marble is the kind of stone and mausoleum is where we put sort of a dead body, right? Uh, it's sort of like a memorial where we put a dead body and then we make something pretty and we write their name and their date by Shah Jahan of the Mughal Empire. Shah Jahan, is, it just means he was the king. To contain his favorite wife, Mumtaz Mahal. So when she died, this king over here, he put her body inside this Taj Mahal. It was their love story which served as the inspiration for the building. So he loved her so much and he was thinking about her and when he's thinking about her, he made this building. Apparently, the Shah's wife died giving birth to their 14th child. So she was giving birth to a baby and during that time she died. The building process took 22 years. This process means these steps, right? First they have to do this, then make this, then the walls, and this, this whole step-by-step -step process, it took 22 years, 20,000 people and many elephants to help drag the marble, the, the heavy stone to the construction site, to where they're making it, right? Okay, so we have three review questions here. A. Who built the Taj Mahal? It was built by the Shah Jahan of the Mughal blank. Now, Mughal was a group of people that really controlled a lot of land. They controlled a lot of people, they controlled a lot of land, and they controlled a lot of you know information and money and things like that so we say that is an empire an empire is a group of people or a team or a company that controls a lot of things they have a lot a lot of power right so we can say that samsung electronics is an empire in korea it's a huge company right we can say that um, the May, the Chinese Empire when they controlled a lot of land or we can say the Roman Empire when Roma they controlled a lot of land in Europe and Asia an empire is a group of people that has a lot a lot of power they have a lot of land a lot of money a lot of people just a lot of everything right B why was the Taj Mahal constructed why was the Taj Mahal built why? It was constructed to blank 
Mumtaz Mahal's favorite wife. So, you know, his wife, her body is actually inside this thing. It is inside, right? So when we say we want to have like a box to put something inside, we say to contain. So what does our head contain? What is inside our head? Well, our head contains our brain, right? What about our body? What does our body contain? What does our body have inside? Well, our body contains our heart, our lungs, our blood, our bones, right? So contain means to put something inside, what is on the inside. See, how long did it take to complete the Taj Mahal? The building blank took 22 years, many elephants, many people, uh, and elephants were used to drag or to pull the building materials. So of course, when they're making something, they have to do it step by step, right? There is a sort of a technique or sort of a way that they have to do it. They cannot build the top first, right? They have to build the bottom and then the next and they have to go up step by step. And this step by step procedure, we can say it is a process. A process is starting from step one all the way to the last step. So when we are making a cake, the process is first we get the flour, step two, put the milk, step three, put the sugar. So this is a step-by-step -step process, all right? We have three review terms here. A, when she visited Princess Diana, his, his mother, visited many years ago, Diana was blank, a difficult time. So Diana was feeling a very difficult time. She is going through a very difficult time. So we can say she is experiencing a difficult time. She's feeling a very hard time. So when we go to look the world, right, we can experience, we can feel a fun time. When we go to, you know, a desert, we can experience a very hot time, right? We will feel very hot. B, William and Kate enjoyed their, their time at the monument to blank love. So he, the king before, the Shah, he made the Taj Mahal because he loved his wife very, very much. He wanted to remember his wife. He wanted other people to remember his wife. And he loved his wife until he died. He wants this love to go on forever and ever and ever. So we say everlasting love. Everlasting love means the love will go on forever and ever. This building is still standing. And as long as it is standing, then people will know about the love. So the love will stay alive in people's minds. C. The Taj Mahal is a white marble blank built by Shah Jahan of the Mughal Empire. So again, inside this Taj Mahal contains his you know, wife's body, right? The dead body. And when we put a dead body somewhere, we call that a, a mausoleum. So when we go to a cemetery where we put the dead people, right? Sometimes we put them in the ground. That is called a grave. But when we make a special little building or maybe a, a big box for them, we call that a mausoleum. All right? So experiencing is when you're feeling something, right? Everlasting, we're talking about time. It's going on forever and ever and ever. It never ends. And mausoleum is a special building or a special box where we put dead people, all right? So hopefully you and I will get a chance to visit this very special mausoleum, this very special monument for everlasting love. And we will of course experience very, very hot weather because it's very hot there. All right, so thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. My name is Chris from Meeting Town. I'll see you next time.